Hi everyone, this is Claudine Helmuth and I am excited to share with you today my Jukebox Favor Box Kit. So this is the little jukebox and I've illustrated it on all sides so that way it will look cute no matter where you put it. And you can open it up and it can fit in tons of candies and treats as well as gift cards and little small gifts as well. Now this kit is actually quite easy to assemble and does not take long at all, but I've got a couple of little tips I wanna share with you about the round top that will make it even easier for you to put together. So when you download and print out the kit, this is what it's going to look like. You're going to have two pages, one with the bottom of the box and then one with the other side as well as the top of the box. So to get started, what we're going to want to do first is we're going to want to cut around all of the outside edge of all of the pieces and make sure to cut in on the red lines. I've got red lines here and here just to make sure that you can see all these little lines as well as on the other page, I've got red lines here and here. Make sure to cut in there as well and right there. And you'll see as we all put it together why those cut lines are important. Now that I've completely cut out both pieces as well as along all of the cut lines, now we need to score the dotted lines. And what that does is we will create a nice dent in the paper so that it will fold nice and cleanly. And the kind of paper that I'm working on here is the Staples Photo Matte Paper. I like this paper. It's 61 pound, 11 mil. It's a great weight for using for favors, candies, treats. It's not so heavy that it makes it difficult to assemble, but it's not so light that it can't hold all kinds of different candies and treats that I want to put inside. But we do want to score the fold lines because if we just start to fold it, it won't make a nice clean fold. So what I'm going to do is I've got a legal pad that provides cushion for the bottom and then I've got a ruler and I'm just going to line up my ruler with the dotted line and then I've got a pen with no ink in it. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you've seen this pen. This is my favorite scoring pen. If you don't have a pen with no ink in it, you can use a butter knife as well. That, that will work. Um, but just make sure it doesn't have any ink in it. And then I'm just going to draw down along my line. And you'll see that will create a nice fold line for that to fold on. Now for doing the top around here, around this arch area, I'm just going to take my pen and I'm going to freehand it and just draw along the line. And then you'll see that those will fold over nice and cleanly along the line. So continue to do that on all of the fold lines on both pieces. Also, don't miss this bottom tab. You can see very, very faint dotted lines there. So make sure that you score those lines as well. Now that all of the dotted lines are scored, we just want to pre-fold them all to make sure that we haven't missed any. And so you'll just kind of go around and make sure everything is folding over nice and cleanly. And then for the top piece, what I like to do is roll it over. This just sort of warms the paper up and will get it used to being in a round shape. So just roll it like this, just gently. You don't want to fold it. And now we are ready to apply adhesive. So we're going to apply adhesive to the lettered tabs. We've got tab A as well as tab B here. And of course, all of these tabs have letters as well, but I've got a little trick for you. What I'm going to do is apply adhesive along the back of this strip. So that way it will easily apply that way rather than 
adding adhesive to all of these little tabs. It goes so much faster and it's much cleaner. Now the kind of adhesive that I like to use is a double-sided tape and I apply it using this tape glider. You can buy small little tape gliders from the craft store as well as just use regular double-sided tape from your drug or grocery store. But make sure that you get permanent adhesive and not repositionable. So I'm just going to apply it here to tab A and I'll show you how I apply it here. You want to go as close to the edge as possible on both sides. And then you're also going to apply it across here at the bottom as well as then to tab B. So now we're just going to adhere tab A to the other side of the jukebox and I'm just going to line it up here and you want to make sure that the bottom is even as well as the dotted line is nice and straight so take your time to line everything up and then press and then we'll line up this side. You can also do it this way if it's easier for you to do it flat. There we go. So you can already see that taking shape. Now we are going to apply the top piece. So you just want to come along here as close to the dotted line until you get about halfway and keep pressing from the inside and the outside. And then you'll flip over to the other side and do the same over there until you get about halfway. And at this point, I kind of tug it to make sure that those lines at the top are lining up and then press from the inside and the outside so that everything is lining up okay and then continue on down the side and then you'll flip over and finish on this side and you'll see it starting to come together and then you'll adhere this last piece right there and once you've got it how you want it take the bottom side of your pen and just press down on all of those tabs to make sure they're nice and secure and then there's our cute little jukebox. All we need to do is fill it with some candies and treats and it will hold a whole lot of candy in there as well as things like gift cards. And then you just slide it closed and it's got little locks on the tabs so that will hold your candies and treats inside but you could also add a little circle sticker. So there you go, you've got a cute little jukebox retro favor box.